just arrived at our hotel in Alabama before I was picking up the batteries for my solar array and I decided to park beside the Tesla and here it is so I started riding around and and I found that there is this giant spaceship right here in front of me so I figured hey why not drive around and video it a little bit I thought it was really fun and it's something that is really amazing to me uh i think this is a saturn V rocket but I don't, it's not really a rocket it's probably just a you know mock-up and you could probably go inside of it but don't get me wrong it looks really cool to me and you can see two different rockets or parts to the rocket and then you've got also a space shuttle you can't really see it from here uh but i thought it was really cool and i wanted to get a little bit of film of it i mean I really, really like uh, astronomy, astrology, astronomy too. Uh, so you know, I, I just enjoy that type of stuff. So, uh, I'm an what's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? It's Philip Twenty, and we're on solar power, electricity, and electronics. And look what we got here. We've got fourteen thousand four hundred watts of solar inverters right here i mean it's a monstrous system uh we also got a four outback flex max 80 amp charge controllers with 17,000 watts of solar hooked up to i'm talking this is a monster system and you can see all the wires hooked up it's nice and neat all the breakers you gotta remember to put breakers in your system or you're gonna burn your house down of course he's also got a meter hooked up that is super cool he's got 14 megawatts of energy production this year that is pretty sweet so let's take a look at his storage he's got 55,000 watts of storage capacity and he uses 20 percent which is 10 kilowatts of energy 55,000 watt hours and he's using 10 kilowatts man this guy's got a dream come true look at these l16 re and that stands for renewable energy and they're two volt cells man that's awesome looks like he's got it going on let's uh go take a look at his uh 17 000 watts of solar okay let's take a look at this solar array right here well what does 17 000 watts of solar look like oh yeah that's pretty sweet uh also when you got your redneck neighbors throwing fits and pissed off they're just shooting at your solar panels or it could be uh you know a big rock but uh they was called on by the police for shooting in the yard so apparently it's damaging the solar panels don't shoot at your solar panels and they didn't penetrate all the way though so you gotta be careful with that but also if uh you think about it just one of the drawbacks of doing a solar array on the ground is you gotta weed eat <laughs> but other than that it's pretty easy to get the snow off so looks like a pretty nice solar array i have to say this uh, gentleman's done his solar array well well organized and well planned out what we're looking at is not pvc pipe from lowe's this is a solar array it's a certain type of solar array and i'm going to leave a link into the description to find more information on it they don't sell these no more the government funded this type of system uh basically each one of these tubes is a four watt solar panel and they're in parallel so here's your parallel string on going across on both ways and the u.s government put in a fortune of money into the, the research and development of this because the way they're set up is when the sun comes up they shine all the way across the panel all the time and you put a white surface underneath of it that increases the amount of power that the these cells might, uh, work basically you got one cell on each row and they produce about 100 volts and when you do that it is it's really the easiest way to get a lot more power but the business 
the company went out of business and all the money disappeared for the research. So, what was the name of that? Uh, Solyndra. Sol Solyndra panels. It basically is, it's in reference of a cylinder, I'm assuming, but it's a Solyndra is what it's called. And the sunlight hits it and it, it does the same amount of power all day. So it's a four watts continuous all day. Unfortunately, they went out of business. There you go. There's some information on it. Go check it out. But it, it looks pretty cool to me. I wish uh, I wish I seen more information on this. I've never seen one of these panels before, and you might not see one in a video neither. So I figured I'd make the video. And uh, thank you to Brian. You're welcome. Thanks, Brian. Well, that's a quick video. See you next time. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Philip 20 and look at these batteries. Holy crap. And we made it home. And I got a mess to clean up. I've got cardboard over there filled up. I've got shelves that need to be up. I'm not sure how I'm going to build the rack for the batteries because it's going to weigh as much as uh, about 2,500 pounds. I'm going to move all this stuff and put the shelves against the wall there uh I, I, or i'm gonna put the i don't have to put the batteries against the wall right there and uh then i'm gonna put the table back but the batteries will be steps and the best batteries will be in the very back row and the better batteries will be uh, the worst batteries will be in the front i'm gonna do all the repairs and fixings and stuff like that but i've got to do something with this stuff. I'm going to have to get a damn storage building, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, you know, we made it home. Man, gosh. Let's go look at those batteries again. So, they're uh, Edison 240 batteries. And uh, the rubber gaskets are gone on some of them. See, so here's one without a rubber gasket. I'll just get some battery gaskets. All. I've got some here. I'll have to order some. Got to have battery gaskets. That way they're not... You know, going out. See, they're supposed to vent through the top of this thing. See, here's a gasket. Right? No, no gasket right there. Uh, so I've got to clean all this stuff out. It's a big mess. Whatever it takes to get it done. I got to, got to get them done. That's a load of them, ain't it? It's pretty sweet. So I'm going to let you guys go on that. Um, this is just a quick update on what's going on. Thanks for watching. This is Philip 20 with Solar Power, Electricity, and Electronics. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.